everybody, and welcome to Mysteries of the Mind's Let's Play for Crusader Kings 2. This is Doc here, and I'm going to go ahead and start a new game. Uh, I've decided that I'm going to go ahead and be the Navara Kingdom, uh, mostly because of this right here. Their culture is of Basque. And because of that, both men and women can rule on equal grounds. Of course, I say equal grounds, but I think that vassals are still unhappy when women rule. However, women have much more of a say here than they do in any other portion of the game. So I figured I would go ahead and try these guys out. Uh, word of warning, I am by no means an expert. Uh, no means know what I'm doing, but that just makes it that much more interesting for everyone. So we'll go ahead and get this game underway. We're adapting history. Uh, as you can tell, I kind of, I've made my own guy to begin with, King Doc. Uh, he he looks just like me. I mean, look at that. That nice chiseled look right there. Uh, that couldn't be farther from the truth. I think the first thing that we're going to want to do here is we're going to get married. Because we are currently an unmarried guy. So we're going to arrange ourselves a marriage. And we need somebody with some decent traits like that. Wow. Almost immediately in, she's a duchess. Okay, well, we just picked, I think we've already picked her. <laughs> Matilda, Duchess of Tuscany. Just look at that, 17 diplomacy, 10 martial, 12 stewardship, 13 intrigue, and 12 learning. We have ambitious, zealot, patient, look at these things, and diligent. And a charismatic negotiator. All right, well, let's go ahead and get ourselves married to Matilda. Wow. Kind of got a very long face, but uh, you know, that'll happen. So we'll do that. Oh, let's go ahead and do this before I hit play. We're going to go ahead and uh, make our ambition get married because that is pretty much an easy ambition. It'll give us some easy points there. Uh, let's see what else we got going on here. We could press ducal claims. And on, it looks like Vizcaya. It's like that must be a part of the Duchy of Navarra. Let's go ahead and take a look at that and see. I'm sure there are hotkeys. I'm just completely unaware of them, so I apologize. Okay, yeah, that is. And let's go ahead and take a look at our our cabinet slash council. All right, uh, that's probably about the best we're gonna get there. We'll go ahead and set this guy on. Let's go ahead and improve some diplomatic relations with those of us who are near those countries that are nearby, because. We're going to want to make sure that we're in good with them. We definitely don't want them attacking us. I mean, we're a really small nation here of two whole counties. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Let's research some military tech, some economy tech. Let's try to get our infrastructure worked out here. Uh, this guy, he could probably do a lot of really great things. Let's go ahead and have him start trying to yank some technology from some of the others. And uh, we'll do cultural tech. And these, these are all until I can think of something else. Um, so let's go ahead and get this game underway. Let's speed it up a little bit. And we'll see what happens. Kind of take a look. Oh, something interesting just happened down there. Let's take a look at that. Oh, look at that. I get married to her. Ugh. Well, she's a, she's a duchess. That's what I have to tell everybody. And see, I took a big prestige hit for that. because Probably because she was not... Because she was a duchess, and I was a king because of the gap in ranking. I took a big prestige hit. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to respect people's wealth and try to gain some of that prestige that I lost back. Uh, to the great king, Doc I, blessings upon your house. I accept your suggestion that Doc I and Duchess Matilda I get married. Good, good. And I fulfilled my ambition to get married. Look at this. Dangerous factions already. What is going on here? Well, first, let's pick another ambition. We're going to want ourselves a son, because uh, it'd be nice to keep this dynasty going. Uh, women can continue dynasties, and uh, I guess I can do it everywhere. I mean, I, I mean, like I said before, women do have more say over here in Navarra, but uh, at the end of the day, it makes all the vassals happy if you just have a son. Do we have... Why do we have that castle? As you can see, by the shield right here, it looks like we own this castle, which means we should not, we should have a wrong holder type, shouldn't we? Yeah, the barony. Why is that? 
We'll go ahead and create a vassal for that. That's weird. Oh, Prince Ramiro, he started himself a little faction. And he's... He's my only vassal. Really, dude? Alright, we're gonna have to kiss up to him. Uh, because I don't feel like <laughs> splitting my country in two <laughs> by losing an entire county. Um, let's go ahead and let's give him a little bit of money. Oh my god, 30 gold. It's fine, it'll be worth it. Uh, just so he calms down and we'll give him an honorary title. <laughs> it's my only... As my as my only underling, you will be uh, master of the hunt. You get to kill all the animals when we go hunting, while I watch, and I make sure that you don't stand behind me. Okay, so we've named him master of the hunt. Let's let's go ahead and let this thing start cranking again. It's dangerous factions. One hundred twenty-one percent of my. <laughs> This this says right here that Prince Ramiro has 121% of the armies that I have. So if he rose up against me, he could literally just crush me. And I'm surprised he hasn't yet. And he probably will, uh, also, to be honest. Let's, let's take a look at this. Uh, he's of the Hamena dynasty. I'm definitely butchering that, but, you know, that's what happens. Uh, th these guys, this big old family, they own pretty much what is not owned by the Muslim states over here in Spain. And uh, they're a pretty big family. So I don't know if he's going to be able to get his his brethren over here to help out, but if he does, that, that could spell trouble. Let's let it auto-save there. Um, let's, see, let's see what kind of troops we're working with here. 402, so a little over 600. Oh, look at that. <laughs> My wife's pregnant. We're already going to have ourselves a dynasty. What is going on? And, and look at this. Immediately. I'm named as a pretender. Prince Ramiro of Navarra is the true ruler of Navarra. That's probably true. He was probably the original guy who was in charge of this. And I kicked him off when I created my ruler. Which means this is, is going to end really soon. And this will be one of the shortest Let's Plays... Uh, for Crusader Kings that anyone's ever seen. And uh, don't think that I won't put this up. Because there's almost nothing I won't put up. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Uh, yeah. You see, if I relinquish the crown, I die. So I'm going to have to just not be blackmailed and uh, hope for the best. I've got a plan. It's not a good one, but I've got a plan. Let's go ahead and try try to assassinate this guy. I probably should have tried to start this earlier. I looked in here to see if I could send my spy master, but I can't. It's grayed out. Um, I need to wait till, looks like, 17th of March, 1067. A couple more months before I can get him over there. Uh, let's see if we can't um, find anybody who will be willing to join us in our plot here. Of course, why would anyone want to join us? <laughs> We're nothing but an infidel. Uh, look at that, not even not even their spy master. That would have been really helpful. Because he's cranking 86%. If this guy joined us in our plot, he would increase us to over 110%. About 116%. And unfortunately, he hates us. I would buy him off, but I don't think that would do much. Of course, with how little money I have... It might be worth it, just to see what happens. Let's go ahead and hit play for a while. Looks like we're getting a matrilineal marriage offer here. Sure, we're about to die. Uh, and who's this? Uh, looks like we got the King of Barcelona. Is that what that is? Like, I think it is. No, Aragon. I'm an idiot. Sure. So these guys wanted to matrilineally marry this this dude. That's whatever. Is he, wait. No, they just look the same. I thought I thought for a second that this guy... I guess that wouldn't be possible if he stand, wants to stand up against me. Alright, let's go ahead and let this happen. Yeah. All of his 516 units against my 492. Uh, well, I know what we're doing there. We're playing the waiting game. 
Oh, I started off wounded. Uh, the reason I had done that was it makes me a little bit younger and lets me to have better stats in the end. My stats aren't terrific because I didn't want to make myself too old. But that's why I, I was originally wounded and now I'm... Now I've got a sick battle scar to make me look like a total BA. There it is right there on my cheek. Oh, can't. Uh, I tell everyone it's a battle scar, but I really just had trouble eating one day and the fork kind of got into my cheek there. And it, it was really bad for all of us involved. And it looks like we're just having a standoff. Because I think... I think this guy simply has to just sit here and wait. And he'll slowly drop in another marriage. This time from... Looks like one of the doges. This guy, he's part of the Republic uh, expansion. And look at this, he'll give me six gold. Oh, come on, you can give me better. Than that. Well, he is a little bit old. This guy's offering me six gold to approve this marriage right here between Iraka and... Oh, I should have paused it. <laughs> so, the moral of that story was, is if you're sitting there reading and analyzing and you don't pause it, uh, the opportunity can pass you by. So, basically, according to what, what just happened there is... we This guy just offered his wife to one of our vassals, and we just pretty much were like, <laughs> ignored it. Sorry, buddy, uh, your, your, your message got lost in the mail. Uh, yeah, we were gonna go and uh, do that marriage immediately, but uh, we, we never got it. I mean, we would have done it, we would have loved to do it. So we got a lot of people on our court here. Uh, in the interest of, well, I can actually raise some of these guys. We're actually at a dead heat. Now, there's a river right here. And there is no way... Oh, I have a daughter. <laughs> How lovely. Lopa, that just doesn't work. Her name is going to be... Bananas. She's going to make a fine wife one day. <sighs> now, let's see. Yeah, it looks like we got a whole lot of nothing going on. I kind of want to drop my troops and see what happens. And I say that because it would save me money. Well, the grand scheme of things, it's not much that I'm losing. But I don't want to fight him immediately here. Because that would definitely not be prudent simply because of the river and the fact that it'd be a lot better for me if I was on the defensive. Um, let's see if I can shore up any alliances here. Oh, let's do a quick pause. Let's see if I can't get this guy, maybe. No, maybe we can do a strategic marrying marriage. God, he's got a whole lot of nothing. I got a lot more than you got. Esmeralda or Emerson. Just to see, I can't do much there. The only two people available are his steward and his marshal. And I don't that's not really gonna give me any alliance whatsoever. And I don't think betrothing my daughter to him or his wife will do much. You know what else I gotta do? I know all of you guys have been yelling at me this whole time to do this, but Sometimes it takes me a while. I'm a little slow on the uptake. We're going to sow some descent over here. And we're going to build a spy network. Uh, I want to sow some descent because I kind of want one of their vassals. The vassals of Count Ramiro to turn on him. And so in that case, perhaps get him to want to join me in my plot to assassinate him. Um, building the spy network, I'm basically wanting to increase my chances at assassination. Should I? I don't know. When when the middle middle age lottery and uh, come into a whole lot of money for no apparent reason whatsoever. Yeah. Okay. We'll do that. So let's go ahead and start this sucker back up again. And let's see what we can do as far as the murderiness goes. Oh, see, it'd be really great if I could get this guy. But he just does not like me, and he just likes Ramiro that much. don't want to throw him all my money because it won't it, I don't think it would do much 
uh, if you guys can see this, it I'm showing one. He doesn't want to do it because he's morally against it. Come on, you're a spy master. That's what you're supposed to do. Morally against it. I'm sorry. I'm against killing and plotting and being sneaky, but uh, that's just what I do for a living. Of course, he's not a very competent one, as you can tell. He's got 11. Okay, Ansto. Ansto. Uh, he really likes Prince Ramiro. That's why all those other negatives are there. So that means basically he just want to kill someone he likes. That makes sense, I guess. And his base reluctance. Oh, well. the sun. Named Ramiro? Are you a traitor? You know, you look an awful lot, Sancho, like one of your... Like one of your siblings or one of your relatives. And you name your son after the man who's going against me, eh? Huh. I really don't approve of that. I don't approve of that one bit. But I'll let you carry on, because I can't do anything. Because... I'm a king who's got one county. And look at this. It looks like they actually, I, I, he, earlier when I had mentioned this, I thought that the waiting game worked the other way around here. I thought he just had to declare war and he had to wait. He could just sit there and wait. And if you waited long enough, the percentage would drop and drop and drop until I eventually lost the game. Now, here it's looking like the other way around. It's looking like the waiting game is actually hurting him. So I'm slowly coming away with the victory here. And so this game may not end as quickly as I had originally presumed. Uh, we're going to wait and see, though. As I can see. Let's go ahead and see what else is going on here. Uh, it's like Leon has decided to grow a little bit there. And still a lot of the Muslim states going on over there. Nothing too exciting happening right now in the rest of the world. Uh, not that it's different from normal. So like some stuff's going on over here. But that is all I can see for now. And yeah, I'm probably missing a lot of things. I, I should probably be, be doing a lot more strategizing here. I'm going to drop my units. I'm going to see what, they, what this guy tries to do with his units if I drop mine. In the interest of saving money. Okay, he's keeping them there. What a weirdo. Trying, I'm looking at my vassals now, trying to see if I can squeeze any more pennies out of them. Actually, let's go ahead and have this guy collect some taxes. Oh, it looks like the Pope's died. Pope Alexander died and has been succeeded by Pope. Yep. Look at that. We can call in allies. We have allies? Oh, my wife, why did you take so long? I've only been married to you this whole time. Really? Oh, were you a part of the Holy Roman Empire before? Probably that. God, you became gluttonous. Or were you always gluttonous? I regret marrying you, lady. But bananas sounds looks like what a bright little child. She's already gaining intrigue. She's already stabbing people in the back with plastic knives. And I know, plastic may not have existed back then, but this was the equivalent of... Yeah, oh yeah, so let's go ahead and ask her to join us. Our loving wife, whom we will never say anything bad about. Let's have her. Of course you'll answer, thank you. Now here's the thing. What's probably happening right now is she's pulling the same stuff that a lot of people pull and telling me that of course she's going to send people my way, when in fact there's absolutely no way in hell she's going to send anyone my way because she's currently losing against the Holy Roman Empire. It says she's winning, but she's losing. There's no way she can beat these guys. They're just too big. So we're going to go ahead and... Uh, See, now, you could have just have just joined me over here. Huh. I just realized my wife has a ton more land than I do. <laughs> hey, can I just become king of your, your area there? Instead of uh, hanging out in Navarra with my one really angry, obnoxious Prince Ramiro? 
Look at this, he even likes me. He's like, this isn't personal. Strictly business. Uh, he was ill. Let's see how the murder, uh... See if anyone's disliked him in the last couple of minutes. No, of course not. Why? Why would anyone dislike him? He's one of the most benevolent rulers ever. Apparently. Let's look at our mercenary options. I know I have enough money to hire some, but problem is, is with 85 gold, I could probably hire some, but they would basically. Yeah, you see. For 75 gold, I could hire this guy, but it would cost me 7 gold a month. So, within less for with less than 2 months, I would have to drop him. Now, that might be enough. That might actually not be too bad. Here's what I'm going to do. Simply because I am currently winning this. By simply doing nothing. Um, I'm going to go ahead and wait it out. So, let's go ahead and let that happen and see what she does as I go ahead and see how my daughter Bananas is doing. What a good, strong Navarin name. I've always approved of that. Let's go ahead and imprison her. Uh, just because my guy is mentally insane. Let's go ahead and do that. No, I'm just kidding. I won't do that right now. Of course, it's very tempting because at this point, we're in a strict waiting game. As we we hit that twenty percent mark there. Now this is perhaps one of the least exciting openings to a Crusader Kings game. Uh, you know, you start off immediately, and your only vassal, your only major vassal, just decides to declare war on you, like a punk, and he is just—he got himself in all sorts of mess. He's hostile towards all these guys. He's fighting us, of course. And he's attacking Sheik for the whole He's attacking a Sheik for the Holy War of that What is this dude doing? Oh down there. Okay. Yeah, you're a real competent ruler. I bet you your your people are thrilled you rose up against me. Alright. Here's my next strategy. We're gonna wait till I get oh let's go ahead and hit play again. We're going to wait till I get to 100 gold. Um, because when I get to 100 gold, I think that'll be just enough to quickly hire some of those mercenaries and send them down in there. Knock that guy out. Drop it immediately. Raise my levies up. Well, I'll let, And then... We'll go ahead and just start sieging him until he, uh, he cries uncle and gives up. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so four more gold... See, sorry about it. this guy is just doesn't like me, but he's like, oh, I kind of like you, Pope. He's a gardener. He's a gardener with a sh weird, with his kicking mustache. That's all right, dude. It's a lust. He's like, he's a lazy lust. He's like, uh, I'm really, really horny, but uh, that means I have to get up off the couch. And, yeah, I'll do that later. All right, let's see. 99 gold. So we're just about to strike. Look at that. 101. Boom. Let's pause this sucker. Let's hire ourselves some mercenaries. Look at that. We're getting them at a disc. Oh, no. Wrong one. 860. Come on now. Oh, you see what happens? Not everyone's hiring everybody. This is a whole lot of baloney. I still say we'll try it. I may be hiring these, the Saxon band. Uh, yeah, yeah, let's do it. Then I'll raise all of my levies here. And I'll put us at 1368. I'm thinking of wrapping around and tacking so I don't have to attack across a river. So a river between Navarra, Vizcaya. So, we're going to do that. We're going to wrap around here. Oh, and look at this. Typical. No. No, we're not wrapping around anymore. Maybe we will. Hey, 
my wife's pregnant. Nothing like getting the blood flowing in the middle of a war than trying to have another child right there. This guy, he just pretty much made it easier for me. So let's go ahead and get this thing underway so I can drop my I can drop my mercenaries ASAP here. Good, good. Actually, we're gonna follow him back still. I have a little bit of money. How much am I losing in turn 2.6? Eh. So we're gonna go ahead and follow him back just to make sure that we absolutely destroy him. I'm not really worried about the disadvantage of the river at this point, simply because we outnumber him so badly that it has no effect at all. They're all just overwhelmed by our vast ability. Oh, of course, as you can see here, his 720 defenders, if I decided to drop my mercenaries, I wouldn't be able to siege. So that's wonderful. But at least we're up to 58% now. Let's go ahead and get a good zoom in on the land we're fighting and uh, see our spy master and chancellor bravely doing absolutely nothing to help us out. What did they do? Did they just go over there and they're just like, oh, let's go ahead and play some chess while we are here? Because you know what? The king of Navarra, he doesn't really want us to sow dissent. Oh! Asking you shall receive. My liege, my network of spies here in Najira have found out that a local noble is a homosexual. What should I do with this information? Do whatever you please, dude. Take advantage of that. Are you a... Uh... No, uh... Let's go ahead and we're going to blackmail him. Because that might force him to do what we want him to do. Um, if we spread rumors about him, see, I don't really know who it is exactly, but I don't think it's their leader. So we're just going to blackmail him. Because that will kind of have him kind of eating out of our hand. He'll have to... He'll be more apt to join us in our plot to assassinate. As it seems no one is. Do they have any leaders here who have that trait? No. Oh well. I'm looking for who it, he could have been talking about. But I was... Oh, look at this. A young son. Our young bacon. This guy's a fan of the bee foods. He really likes this. Why is my wife in ch Oh. What? Pausing the heck out of that. I think I know why, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait it out. Let's go ahead. <laughs> I got five gold. And I wanna be a mess. Well, sure. Actually. Let's go ahead and become exalted amongst men. <laughs> I only need 900 more prestige to become exalted amongst men. Now, I think because of her foolhardy uprising against the whole Roman Empire, yeah. Because of that, she was tossed in jail. That's fine. You know what I just realized? We haven't looked at our succession laws. Not that it really matters with one county and five gold and you're on the brink of destruction. See, gavel kind, I don't like that at all. And I'd also like absolute cognatic. So eventually, as I rule and my rule increases, we're gonna do this so that women and men can rule. And we're also probably gonna do elective monarchy. Uh, we're small enough, elective monarchy will let all of the vassals vote for who becomes leader. We're small enough to where pleasing all of our vassals shouldn't be difficult. I say as I'm at war with one of my vassals. And it lets us pick, if we have a more competent son or daughter, it allows us to pick them instead of maybe if our firstborn son's a complete moron. Uh, no offense. They're in prison. Oh god, he was born in jail. <laughs> Uh, can we have him back? 74 gold? No. I'm sorry, he can keep the kid. Oh, crap. We're running out of money. Now, the problem with that is, is we're about to... From you can see over here in Najira. We're not going to be able to keep the siege going if I drop my troops down. However, 
worse things will come if I keep the mercenaries I hired earlier. Because if that happens, then I run out of money. They won't like that, and they're going to uh, attack me. Let's wait out a little longer. As soon as I hit that negative, boy, these guys are dropped. Bam. All right. Can only do so much. I had to drop them. And the waiting game continues. Now, I could do a white piece against these guys. We're going to go ahead and attack him here. Ugh. Maybe. I might do a white piece. Let's see. If I were more patient, I would simply wait this out, because he's got to be almost ready to, to crack. And I don't want to do a white piece, because that's basically a truce. I'm going to go ahead and stop this video for now. And uh, when I continue this later, we'll go ahead and make up our decision. So, thank you guys for checking out... Mysteries of the Minds, let's play Crusader Kings 2 with Doc, and uh, see you guys later.